Austin's first food hall fairground reopened today after being closed for nearly 18 months due to the pandemic. The community can enjoy food with flavors from around the world, local vendors, and a new bar program. Fox 7 Austin's Tierra Newbaum is in downtown Austin with the details for us. Six eateries in one spot, and that's just a little bit of what people can experience here at Fairground. The reopening today, Albert, this is exciting. What can the community come out and enjoy? So we've got a lot to offer at Fairgrounds. We have a total of six eateries, four new, two have been here with us for a while. We also have two bars and a nice boutique retail function as well. I'm standing in front of Taco Pagaso, which is very authentic street Mexican food. We have Little Woo, which is going to be Asian noodles and dumplings. Along with that, Austin Rotisserie, which is fresh comfort food with a Parisian flair. We have Henbit, which is farm to fast. The freshest ingredients on your plate very quickly. And then we have Market, which is a grab and go concept, but we've elevated that as well. You mentioned the drink portion, a new beverage program here. Uh, what is that all about? So we've done a lot of things. We've brought a lot of new influences. We've, we've embraced uh, craft cocktails on tap, as well as really diving into the world of tequilas and mezcals. There's something for everyone. And you guys also have a new marketplace. This is really just a great place for people to come spend some time here at Fairground. You know, what's the vibe like? So it is, you can do a lot more than just eat. You can eat, you can shop, you can socialize. It's casual, but it's elevated. You feel great while you're here, but you still don't feel like you have to get too drip gussied up to come on down. It's, it, it, it's welcoming. And then we can't not stop by TLV, one of the fairground originals in Bertie for somebody who's never had your amazing Israeli street food. What are they going to experience from you? Well, here at TLV, they're going to experience our famous uh, hummus plates, uh, like this one, the classic hummus with tahini, warm chickpeas, and uh, tatbila, which is a spicy chili sauce. Uh, we got our mushroom shawarma, which is one of the vegan favorites. It almost tastes like meat, but it's just mushrooms with a lot of seasoning and hummus. And of course, our very famous kofta plate made out of ground lamb and beef. We have a very large variety of salatim, which we expanded, and we're gonna be serving on a daily basis out of our uh, beautiful new uh, salatim display. And we do have a new market section with spices and sauces that we make in-house and we offer to the public now. Some of my favorite food in the city is right here. What does it mean to you to be reopening today at Fairgrounds? Oh, man, it means so much. After such a long uh, hiatus through due to the pandemic and all that, uh, it's really, uh, it means a lot for us to reopen today, especially since it's also the first day of the Jewish New Year's, Rosh Hashanah, which symbolizes new beginnings, new energy, new vibes, new positivity, and it's just very symbolic for me to, uh, this time to be able to reopen on that specific day. And it's open 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. every single day. Bertie, thank you so much for your time today. Thank we are you. so excited about this. Reporting in downtown, Tierra Newbaum, Fox 7 Austin News.